conscious entrepreneurs as previously disclosed in my last video the number one principle of success upon which all others find their foundation is that of the knowledge of the true self so today I'm going to talk about how we can access this principle and put it to work in our lives So again, what is this first and foremost principle of success that all others are based upon? It is that of the knowledge of the true self. And let's encapsulate this in a very short, concise definition. The all is the one and the one is the all. And that one entity, that one being or that one reality is consciousness itself, pure awareness and you my friend are one and the same with that one entity you can call it divinity you can call it god you can call it the Tao. you can call it the quantum field so today i want to talk about how you can access this truth what does it mean to have the knowledge of the true self now, first of all, it has to be said that whenever we think about knowing something, we think about apprehending it from the standpoint of logic in the form of concepts. But when we talk about the idea of knowledge of the true self, I want you to understand that concepts and logic are only helpful in so much as they can point you in the direction of the door that you have to walk through. But when you walk through that door, there is no concepts involved. There is no logic or thinking whatsoever. In fact, in order to know your true self, you have to let go of all thought, all logic and all conceptualization. You see, it's actually the ego that operates on the level of concepts and thought and logic, but the ego is just a shell or a periphery or a covering of the self it is something that can be observed within consciousness and therefore it is not consciousness itself and therefore the real you goes beyond and is before and behind any conceptual knowledge any logic any thoughts at all so what that means is that if you want to actually connect with your true self you have to let go of thinking and that involves the idea of mindfulness and meditation so meditation is that uh, activity which is really a non-activity it's the absence of activity it's really just being able to simply be yourself without any of the layers without any of the outer shells that distract you or obscure your ability to see who you really are or experience who you really are another way of thinking about accessing this principle of the knowledge of the true self is to simply become accustomed to observing your life in real time as you are interfacing with it in the present moment and not only are you observing the things around you but you are also observing your thoughts which is a lot more say challenging to do because a lot of times we get wrapped up in our thoughts and we don't realize we're thinking but the more you can bring the observer mind to everything around you, including your thoughts, then you are able to anchor yourself in the true self. So the more you're able to embody this observer mindset, the more practiced you're becoming in noticing all of the things that you are not. And in noticing what you are not, you are anchoring yourself in what you are. And the more you're able to anchor yourself in this state of pure awareness, the more the other spiritual principles of success make sense and flow more freely and spontaneously. If this video resonated with you, here's another one you might like. Here's a playlist you might find helpful. Subscribe for more content.